On the 26th of January 1788, the Eora would have watched in astonishment as the 11 ships of the First Fleet slowly tacked their way into Port Jackson and moored at Sydney Cove. Here, over 1,000 British Marines, officials and convicts stepped ashore in the heart of Gadigal country and set about clearing the scrub and setting up camp. Governor Arthur Phillip had been instructed to establish open communications with the Indigenous people, but the wary Eora initially avoided the settlement, whose population rivalled their own. Gradually, though, friendly encounters took place between the two curious cultures during chance meetings. In May 1788, friendly relations soured after the Eora speared convicts William Oakley and Samuel Davis while cutting rushes on the banks of Darling Harbour. This may have been in reprisal for the earlier killing of an Aboriginal man in Wongal Territory by the Marine, Morty Lynch. By this time, it was also apparent that the British strangers were not simply visiting Eora lands. They were here to stay. The Eora were now angry. I have no doubt but that this native, having been murdered, occasioned their seeking revenge and which proved fatal to those who were not concerned. They have attacked our people where they met them unarmed, but that did not happen until they had been ill-treated by us in the lower part of the harbour and fired upon by the French. With hostilities escalating during the remainder of 1788 and the subsequent breakdown in communications, Governor Philip decided to seize a local inhabitant in order to learn about their unknown numbers, customs and resources. In December 1788, Arab was captured at Manly Cove and detained at Government House for questioning. Meanwhile, a deadly epidemic of smallpox raged amongst the Eora. With no natural resistance to this introduced disease, the Eora were decimated by smallpox, or Galgala, with an estimated 50% of the entire population dying within months. The bodies of dead Eora, particularly those of young children and the aged, who succumbed to disease more readily, were seen lying scattered amongst the rugged shoreline and countryside of Sydney. The survivors retreated inland, unwittingly spreading smallpox amongst groups beyond Eora territory. Eora children, Nunbury and Burong, also known as Abaru, contracted smallpox, were brought to the British settlement for medical treatment and recovered. Not so Arabanu, who had been captured at Manly earlier and nursed the sick children. He died of the disease in May 1789 and was buried in the governor's garden.